Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Dolston. Today, gonna be doing a Lair of Darkness deck profile. So, I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Melly. And this deck is an extremely powerful deck that you can play all sorts of amazing trap cards in to be able to control the board with one of the most powerful field spells ever created Lair of Darkness. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name, scripture, and single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Melly some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Lith Lady of Lament. This card is a definite three of the deck and one of the best cards in the entire build. Because this card is easily, if this card is normal summon, its original attack becomes a thousand. In quick effect, you can tribute a dark monster and then reveal three normal trap cards in your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one and you set it to your side of the field, which gives you access to a bunch of extremely powerful cards in this deck. You also shovel the rest back in the deck, but that's not that big of a deal because you're getting a really powerful trap card immediately set to your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Alice. I feel like one copy of Alice is totally fine in this build. This card is great because when this card is normal summoned, you can actually target a Lady of Lament monster in your graveyard and special summon it back to your side of the field. And this card can also special summon itself to your side of the field, by banishing a trap card from your hand or graveyard, which is a great effect. We then play a single copy of Loris. Loris is awesome at helping you recycle your trap cards. So this card is a definite one of the build it lets you target three or six of your normal trap cards that are banished and or in the graveyard place them on the bottom of the deck in any order that you want and then draw one card for every three that you place back which is just a really good effect to be able to use with this card to help you recycle your traps we then play two copies of Tour Guide from the Underworld. I feel like two is totally fine in this deck, especially with some of the tech cards I'm playing in this build. This card is great at helping you make Zeus, just in case you need to make Zeus, because you can actually summon out the copy of Tour Guide, bring out one of your copies of your Ladies of Lament, and then make a copy of Stone King. Once you make your copy of Stone King, you can then make Divisor King immediately on top of it, kind of like Utopia Double, attack with a 3k attack point monster, and then make a copy of Zeus during main two. And the Zeus will actually have four materials, which is really cool because you have the two cards originally with the tour guide and the copy of the lady of lament that you summon and then you have the copy of stone king and divisor king which will give you four materials under that zeus which is just really good at helping you board wipe the field we then play three copies of arima arima is basically terraforming for the deck let you discard this card to add a layer of darkness from your deck to your hand which is just a really good effect and if this card's on the field you can actually tribute a dark monster draw a card or if you tribute a dark monster other than this card to activate its effect you can actually add a dark monster to 2,000 or more defense from your deck to your hand. We have a bunch of them in the deck to be able to search off this effect. And then play a single copy of Darkest Diabolosis, the Lord of the Lair. This card is really insane in the deck because if a dark monster is tributed that you control, you can actually special summon this card from your hand instantly to your side of the field. I love that about this card. It just instantly puts this card on your side of the field. And it actually combos really well with your copy of Arima because if you actually tribute a card that's other than Arima to be able to activate its effect, you can actually search this card and since uh, the tribute just occurred you can actually special summon it out to your side of the field which is just a really cool effect uh, to instantly get a 3k monster on the field we then play three copies of Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Lord of the Heavenly Prison really is the boss monster of the deck. This card is great at protecting your back row by revealing this card in your hand. But the reason I play three copies of this card in the deck, I was playing two, but I feel like three is better for this deck, is because you can reveal one in your hand and you do have more to be able to special summon. So you don't feel like you have to hold the one in your hand for so long to be able to protect your back row. Because if you have two of them, you can reveal one and then special it and then be able to use the other one later on, which is really cool. So you can actually get a 3k attack point monster on the field and you feel like you can actually summon this card instead of just using it for so much protection which is just really good i love this card in the deck and it also helps you get your traps on your side of the field by special summoning this card out to your side of the field so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start off with three copies of Lair of Darkness. Lair of Darkness is an insane field spell that makes all monsters that are face up on the field become dark. And once per turn, if you attribute a monster that you control to activate a card effect, you can actually attribute a dark monster that your opponent controls, which since this card is making everything dark, 
they're already going to be dark. So essentially to activate a card effect, you can actually tribute one of your opponent's monsters, which is a really good effect. And once per turn, during the end phase, which is a mandatory effect, special summon is many torment tokens that are fiend dark level three a thousand attack and thousand defense as possible to the turn players field in defense position equal to the number of monsters tributed this turn while this card is face on field so if you tribute two monsters during your opponent's turn they're going to get two tokens if you tribute two monsters during your turn you get two tokens which is still a pretty insane effect we then play three copies of super polymerization i will always as long as i can play three copies of super poly along layer of darkness this card is insane at breaking your opponent's board because you can use your opponent's monsters to be able to fusion summon into really powerful boss monsters and they can't even respond to this and since they're all becoming dark it makes it easy to summon out cards like starving venom fusion dragon with just using any two monsters that your opponent controls and it makes you a really powerful boss monster on the field this card is insane as a three of in the deck we then also play three copies of pot of prosperity i have changed this card out for extravagance you can play extravagance if you want to if you're looking for a more budget option but i really like this card because it helps you dig into the deck to make sure you're going to get to your copy of layer of darkness even though we're playing like eight copies technically with metaverse and the arenas and the layer of darknesses but it's still really good because you're usually not otking so the half damage really doesn't come up and we don't need every single card in the extract but this card is just really good at helping you dig into that again for a budget option you can change it out for extravagance if you want to though so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're going to start off with two copies of Trap Trick. I have bumped this card up to two in this build. This card is just really good because you can basically get extra copies of every single trap in the deck because we're playing a bunch of two ofs in this deck to be able to use with this card. You banish a trap card from your deck and you set one with the exact same name from your deck to your side of the field, which is just a really good effect. We then play two copies of Metaverse. Metaverse is insane. It just activates a layer of darkness directly from your deck to your side of the field. I feel like two is totally fine. I did try it at three. I feel like it breaks too much at three so i feel like two is totally fine in the deck you can also add that field spell to your hand which is great but you always want to activate layer of darkness on the field we then play two copies of back to the front this card is great to be able to bring back monsters from the graveyard like any of your ladies of lament it's really insane because it lets you target a monster in the graveyard and special summon defense position which is really good you can even bring back cards like lord of the lair to your side of the field or your copy of lord of the heavenly prison which is just really good we then play two copies of compulse compulse is great bouncing cards is awesome right now so this card is great to be able to just bounce a monster off the field back to the opponent's hand i love this card in the deck and it's just such a powerful two of in the deck to be able to use we then play two copies of ice dragon's prison ice dragon's prison is great in this deck because this card basically works like monster reborn which is just really good to be able to target a monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your field but you can basically just keep that monster on the field but its effects are negated then you can you don't have to which is why i say this card is a monster reborn you can actually banish one monster from both players fields that have the same type as each other so if your opponent's playing something like a cash tier deck you can manage a psychic monster if you bring back another psychic monster which is really cool and i love that about this card but usually i just bring back a monster to my side of the field and keep it which is really good to be able to use as a boss monster we then play two copies of Eradicator. Eradicator is one of my favorite trap cards ever created. You tribute a dark monster with 2,500 more attack and declare either spells or traps. And for the next three turns, you destroy every spell or trap that your opponent controls and in their hand and that they draw. So you can basically lock down an entire deck with this card. And I love this card as a two of them in the deck. You really don't need three because we basically play four of it with the copies of Trap Trick and Lord of the Heavenly Prison can get to it extremely easily. And Lord of the Heavenly Prison can actually set it up, which is really cool about this card. You can actually set it with Lord of the Heavenly Prison and it a lord of the heavenly prison is actually 3k 3k so it's really easy to use it with this card we then play two copies of full force full force is really good right now because you tribute a dark monster with 2,000 or more defense which we have plenty of those in this deck and then you look at your opponent's hand and all monsters that they control and all cards that they draw until the end of their turn third turn after this card was activated and destroy all those monsters with 1500 or less defense which is a lot of cards right now this card is really good right now and a definite two of in this build we're then playing three copies of my really spicy tech card in this deck and that's gonna be three copies of skill drain skill drain is really good because on your normal summons of your copies of your lady of lament your lith it's gonna come out at 2000 that's why i'm only playing two copies of tour guide in this build because you can either activate the skill drain or normal summon tour guide and don't want to play three tour guides with three copies of skill drain it's the only card that's really affected by this card because all your other cards resolve off field which is really cool especially your copy of your lady of lament your lith lady of lament because it'll tribute itself on the field and it'll activate in the graveyard 
start, which is really cool to be able to then set a trap card to your side of the field. This card is insane in the deck. Lord of the Heavenly Prison activates in the hand, so you can actually flip this card, and it even works under Lord of the Heavenly Prison, which is really good. And you can protect this card with Lord of the Heavenly Prison as well, which is why I think this card is a definite three on the deck to turn off your opponent's field, and it's just absolutely insane. This card is a definite three of in the deck. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with a single copy of Mudracker from the Underworld. This card is definitely a one-up in the deck to be able to bring back your fiend monsters to your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Access Code. This card is great to be able to pop multiple cards on the field and then come out absolutely massive. One copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. This card is huge on the field and it's very easy to make with a Link 2 plus a copy of IP Mascarena. This card is a great boss monster and very easy to summon to your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Nightmare Unicorn to spin stuff. This card is great in the deck one of one copy of nightmare phoenix to pop spells and traps one copy of dark the dark charmer it's very easy to make this card with two of your tokens on your side of the field i love this card and it's very easy to bring back monsters from your opponent's graveyard especially with dark being such a played archetype with like so many different dark type monsters in the uh, graveyard you can bring them back which is really good you can play a single copy of beat cop beat cop is great in this deck i love this card as a one of it's actually to tribute your opponent's monsters when layer of darkness is on the field which is just really good i love this card card in the deck. We then play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is great as a one of because it helps you make your copy of your Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax to be able to protect itself even more. And you can even make your copy of Nightmare Unicorn during the opponent's turn to be able to spend cards during the opponent's turn. We then play a single copy of the Stone King Darius. Darius is really good because this card, I, I feel like in this deck, it's a lot better to make the copy of the Stone King because it makes it easier to be able to just normal summon Tour Guide, summon out this card to your side of the field off the copy of the Tour Guide's effect and the other card that you put on the field with Tour Guide. And then you make a copy of the Divisor King on top of it, which is 3K, instantly overlay it on top of it. It gives you a 3K monster to swing with to be able to then, during main two, make a copy of Zeus. This is just really good. I feel like this is the best way to actually go in to Zeus in this deck and it's really powerful in this build. For these super poly targets we're playing a single copy of Starving Venom. This is the one you go into the most. It takes two dark monsters that are on the field to make this card. And with Lair of Darkness everything's dark. So you can use any two monsters your opponent controls to make this card. One copy of the Predator Plant Dracus Tapalia. Dracus Tapalia is pretty good because special with fusion running around with Brandon. This card is great to be able to use a fusion monster plus a dark monster to make this card. It's a negate and it's great. We then play a single copy of the Predator Plant Trip. Trip is great in this deck as one of as well because it takes three dark monsters to make this card that are on the field. So you can use three of your opponent's monsters essentially being sphere mode which is really good but you get to keep the monster which is great. We then play a single copy of Garua. Garua is in case we don't have Lair of darkness on the field we can easily make gruel on the field it's just a really good card to be able to make with super poly so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played a layer of darkness deck before you definitely should give this deck a try because it's really insane the combos you can pull off with this deck being able to lock your opponent down with skill drain is just so funny and just so good especially when you can just normal summon 2000 attack point monsters like your copies of your live lady of lament so anyways guys that's it for this one don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys